Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing this uh, little turtle here that I drew um, as a commission. Uh, someone had saw the picture that I had posted on my Facebook page, um, which was this little guy right here. And they asked if this one was for sale and I said no because, um, well it's kind of in my sketchbook, right? So I decided that um, I would go ahead and um, do a copy for them on some watercolor paper. And uh, they want to give it to someone for as, as a Christmas gift. Oh my goodness, I'm stumbling over my words so much today. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm using my Koi palette here. So I'm just going to be using random colors in here. Nothing else. It's just a full-on watercolor piece. Um, I know some people have been asking to see what I'm using because I usually have everything off to the side. So in this video I will be using my Koi palette and um, I have to do another color swatch because the cat tipped over a jar of water on my other one, so I have to redo all this. But these are the colors I'm using, and uh, let's get going. Before you hear too much of my dogs running around in the background, I'm going to add in some music here, and I hope you guys enjoy the process.
Alright guys, so this piece is going to be turning into a mixed media piece very, very quickly. I just want to let you know that this is um, Strathmore mixed media paper I'm using here. And I don't know what gave me the idea to put this on this mixed media paper to use watercolor with. Because the watercolor, as you can see, I'm having a really hard time every time I go and put down a new color. The color underneath keeps lifting off. And I understand that watercolor is supposed to, um, what's the word, reconstitute? Is that the word? If that's not the word, don't laugh at me. Um, <laughs> I think that's the word, reconstitute. Um, but this is like completely lifting the paint right off of the paper. I don't think that's supposed to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dry this, and then I'm going to come back in with um, some Prismacolor pencils, possibly a little bit of Copic to... Um, you know, even out some lines and everything here, but the rest of this watercolor is just going to have to just go on the back burner here because it is just not working. So that's what I'm going to head off to do.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of the video here. Like I said, this paper was really hard to you, uh, work with the watercolors on, so I did um, go in with some uh, pencil, uh, Prismacolor pencils, and I wasn't really having a good luck, uh, any good luck with these today either, because they kept cracking off on me when I was trying to sharpen them, and um, I, I tried nuking them in the microwave there, but it really wasn't helping, so I ended up um, wearing down a couple of my full pencils to half size uh, so I'm not really impressed with that but anyhow it's not about the product it's about the overall picture um, like I said I hope you enjoyed the process of watching me color in Herbert here for um, a Christmas gift I'm assuming it's for a little girl and uh, she'll get this in a couple of weeks and uh, I hope the person that uh, is actually picking this up is going to be uh, liking the item as well um, with that being said um, I am I'm going to call the video done and um, don't forget to go ahead and uh, leave me a like if you enjoy the video and I'll be back again next week with another one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos. Until next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.